can, can I start off by thanking Unions 21 for inviting me to speak and also for giving me the privilege to become one of the Fur World Commissioners. I have to say that I'm quite inspired, having just heard a Labour MP who's got on this platform and has told us how proud it is to be a trade union member. Because I am also proud not just to be a trade union member, but also to be a member of the <coughs> Labour Party. You know, Paul Krugman, the Nobel laureate economist, recently said that the problems of growing inequality in our society are down to politics. And I tell you what, he's dead right. Politics, sorry Ian, is not what happens in Westminster. Politics is what we do to create a consensus among issues that then compels politicians like Ian and others to act. Politics is about building a movement that is capable of progressing and ensuring that change happens. That is what politics is about. And you know, unions are ideally placed, are ideally placed to be the catalyst that makes that happen. Maybe we have to go back, back to Brexit, although maybe not in the way that John Major meant it all those years ago. You know, when we started out as a movement, our members, our reps in particular, were the pillars of their communities. They were the people that people came around to ask what to do when they had a problem. They were the ones that were entrusted with setting up Sunday literacy schools when education wasn't available to everyone to make sure that working people had a chance of bettering themselves. We should be proud of that tradition, but we should not be looking back on that as some kind of glory days. What we need to do is adapt ourselves and recreate that kind of environment once again. I tell you, I am extremely proud that in my union we are trying to reach out. I think what Ian said is absolutely right. It's not just about what happens in the workplace, important as that is, but it's what happens in our communities. We've launched an initiative, and it's about actually defending our members' jobs, although that's not the way that it's being sold. We are linking up with the passengers that use the services that our members provide. We are linking up with them because, frankly, <laughs> they are fed up of paying Skyhack fares. And we're using that to build the momentum that then focuses the debate on who owns the railways and in, and in whose interest that railway is being run. I tell you what, we have been successful in this. Only four weeks ago, almost 20, day, 20 days, 20 years to the day when the Railway Act was first published by Pablo's John Major and his crew. The, the Association of Trade Operating Companies called the unions in for the first time ever. <coughs> for the first time ever, we've been trying to get a meeting with them for 18 years and said, we need to talk. What did they want to talk about? Well, they said, you have to stop putting out your misleading information. You are just telling passengers a pack of lies. I turned around to the chair of it and said, it's taking me 18 years to get through your door. Do you think I'm going to be stupid enough to stop the campaign that has got you to sit around the table with me? Think again. You just told me the reason why I should continue to do that. In the same vein, in exactly the same vein, we're trying to do something around the living wage. You know, the living wage is an idea whose time has come. And we need to create, create the consensus that ensures what will hopefully be an incoming Labour administration in 2015, that they've got no way to duck out of it, that they have to implement a living wage for everyone in this country. It is absolutely immoral that people are going to work and having to rely on benefit to make ends meet. You know what, I want to finish all this. What are we about? 
you know, the real question is, what kind of world do we want? What kind of world do we want for ourselves and our children? Do we want a world where people are exploited? Or do we want a world where we gather together to make it better for everyone? And if the answer is, and I hope your answer is like mine, that we want to make it better, then we have to have a vision and a strategy that delivers it. We have to change what we've done, because continuing to do what we've always done, expecting different results, is a clear sign of madness. We need to step up to the plate and change, but not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Change to create a movement of social justice that can deliver the kind of society that everybody in this room wants. Thank you.